All right, guys, time for box two. Welcome to the little corner, y'all. If you have not seen my first box opening, I highly suggest you do so. Long story short, I managed to rip out the uh, wind-up carrier Zim Mighty, and I got a wind-up shark. So, for Alligator Prime, work your magic one more time, please. One of these days, I am going to do a Pokemon booster pack box opening. Maybe in the next set, what is it? New Destinies? You know, the one with the EX guys, that's next month, and I actually am quite interested in that set. So, yeah, first card of this new box pack is... Overcapacity. Yay. So, yeah, I... As I mentioned in the last video... The uh, Hieroglyph Dragons, I'll discuss at a later point, just because that in itself is a large topic. Oh, yay, Dr. Diviner. But, yeah, long story short is I do like them. I do. Um, as the other thing I wanted to mention would be ideas for the ban list. Yes, it's that time of the year again, you know, and frankly... What I think needs to be banned would be Blackluster Soldier. That's the obvious one. Mind Control. It's pretty crazy um, how powerful the card has become. Sangan. I mean, Sangan is just... It deserved to go last ban list, actually. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest is gone, and Sangan is reaching near Witch of the Black Forest level. Uh, Wind-ups do need to be hit in some way. This deck is just way too retarded. Zen Mighty to one because doing anything to Hunter outside of banning it is not going to affect the deck. They only run one Hunter anyway. One or two, but... Wow. Save for the Dark Diviner? This has been a pretty terrible box thus far. But, yeah. There's that. Unban them. Uh, what else did I have on my photon lizard? Ban those guys. And you know, I don't have like a full ban list idea on me, but one thing I'd like to see is Sukiyomi come back. I mean, why is that card still banned? I mean, she can flip stuff face down, but still, it's a spirit monster. It's still rather slow and. I think I'd rather see her on band than something stupid like Chaos Emperor Dragon. Armor Blast. Yes, some people have been tossing around ideas that Envoy of the End could come back because there's so much crap to counter and all that, but no, I'm sorry. Even if I did not play in the Chaos format, sweet! There it is, the other card I was looking for. But yeah, even though I did not actually play in the Chaos format, I know already that having Envoy of the End back would be nothing but terrible for this game. Absolutely bad. So, no, Emperor Dragon should not ever come back. It needs to stay on the ban list, and yeah, just collect dust in people's trade binders. Um, back at top. Wow. Half a box done, and only these three guys. This box is terrible. Definitely not going to be getting off of a lot. I mean, unless I did something amazing and pulled, like, two highly wanted cards. Not, not being one of them. I guess I could build a photon deck at this point. Oh well, yeah, that's another thing. People ask me what my thoughts would be on Neo Galaxy as Photon Dragon. This was, of course, when we had no idea what his effect was. Now I know what his effect is. I can say that Neo Galaxy as Photon Dragon, he's a gigantic win more, at least for Disaster Dragon. To get three level 8 monsters on the field is already a difficult task even for, say, the egg. And more often than not, if you have those three eight level eight monsters, you probably also have a darkness metal on the field. So that right there 
is over 11,000 damage. And you're asking me to give up three of those cards just for a 4,500 attacker? Just, just not worth it. Neo Galaxy's Photon Dragon is, is better left off to a specialty deck that can work on it. Maybe the Hieroglyph Dragons. I don't know if they could even pull that off. Another Rust Mist. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't like this box at all. I hope my friends pull better stuff than I do. I know one of them was like going to get five. Oh, yay, another soul that's the entire play set now. Uh, yeah, he was going to get like five, and hopefully between him and the other guy, someone will pull a tour bus just to say that, hey, tour bus was finally pulled. Speaking of tour bus, I kind of have an idea for a deck for it. It's called Every Good Card Dot Deck. Where basically I just take all the staple cards and throw them all together and see what kind of shenanigans I can do. And yeah, it would be a dueling network only deck because no way in hell could I build that kind of deck in real life. But yeah, I think I'll give it a try, see what happens. I know I'll have tour guides and thunder kings and BLS and like every all the cards that require you to give up like an arm and a leg to get would be in this every good card dot deck deck. Like your dragonfly. No hornets. I am disappointed. Two boxes and not a single hornet. I don't even. I just want the card to trade. The duplication. God. You know, I'm not even going to keep my rares separate. They're all bad. For the most part. Um. Sweet. Another dark mist. I end up pulling two of these things. Where's my secret rare? We're supposed to get two in a box, right? So... Or at least one? Yeah, where the hell is my secret? Hold on, lizard. Oh, speak of the devil, hornet. Alright. All's good now. Tour bus, tour bus, tour bus, tour bus, tour bus. MX Saber Invoke. There's my secret. Uh, you know what? I know some people would want that. So, yeah, box two. I ended up getting uh, Dark Diviner, Armor Blast, Ninjutsu Art of Rust Mist, Insector Hornet, MX Saber Invoker, Dark Mist, Solda, and Utopia Ray. Yeah. I'm pretty much... I am done with this set now. The cards I really wanted for my collections, I got in this box. And I got the Gaga -ga -ga Girl from the first box. So, yeah. I have no reason to buy Order of Chaos anymore. All in all, I guess I can't complain too much. Thank you all for watching. Until the next time.